Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you around Hartlepool Art Gallery as well as give you a bit of an insight into what it's like to be an artist for the day. But first I've got to drop all my artwork off so I'll see you when we get there. Okay guys and here I am at Hartlepool Art Gallery which is just behind us and as you can see it's actually a church. Sorry if there's a bit of noise there is a lot of building work going on and stuff as you can see which is unfortunate, but the gallery itself is actually a Victorian church that was built in 1854 and it was converted into an art gallery in 1996. So that's it there, but we're gonna have a walk in and I'll install the piece of work as well. And yeah, and we'll see how we go on. Um, what's great about this building as well is the fact that although it's turned itself into an art gallery, it's maintained a lot of its original features so that's really great. Um, it's got lots of stained glass windows, lots of different architecture elements as well. It's a fantastic space. But I'll um, we'll walk in and we'll have a little look around. I might not commentate on this bit either because there's a few people in and I don't really want to disturb them. and that's pretty much it. Um, sorry if the volume's a bit weird, it is quite loud in here. They are busy with changeovers and lots of other stuff so there's a lot of activity going on but hopefully you've enjoyed um, kind of a little in-depth look at what it's like to kind of be an artist and what they kind of do in the installing process and stuff and Hopefully you've enjoyed the gallery space as well. That's one reason why I wanted to put my work into this space because of the setting, because of the architecture, and because of the surroundings and whatnot. Like just for example, you know, the lovely stained glass windows and stuff like that. Sometimes it can be distracting for a piece of work, but for me, I find it a lot more interesting, that kind of clash and that contrast and just something a bit different rather than a completely blank space. 
And the good thing about it is the last time this work was installed, it was in a sea of kind of grey and black and white and it was just so dull and it was so boring. So it's really interesting to see the work in a new kind of context and a new space. And also with the work that's shown, I will say that it's all about kind of anxiety and that was the starting point. It's very much kind of an um, autobiographical piece, but I'll never kind of, well I have done in the past, but I won't go into it in too much detail because I think coming fresh from university and it's kind of drilled in here to explain and over explain and kind of it, it gets too much for me so I much prefer the public or someone who wants to see my work to come in with an open mind and just enjoy it and see what they want to see if they see something different that I hadn't intended or if they experience it in a different way than I had intended them to experience it then for me that's good. I kind of embrace that opportunity. Um, a lot of people will think, oh, that's wrong, you're not allowed to do that as an artist. They have to feel a certain way, you have to direct them in a certain way. And for me, I don't, I don't believe that. Um, and I don't believe in kind of telling them everything about the piece of work because it's kind of like reading a book and reading the last chapter before you've read the entire beginning of the book, like you're spoiling it for someone. If someone wants to be spoiled, that's absolutely fine. I don't mind spoiling it for them. They can ask us questions and stuff and I don't mind answering them. But I much prefer people to go into a piece of work and just think about it and not already have this preconception of what the piece of work is, what it's about, and all the kind of nitty gritty details. Like this piece of work, there's lots and lots of layers to it, but those layers are just kind of my layers and if someone just wants to scratch at one little layer that's perfectly fine if they want to dig really deep down and dig into all the layers that's perfectly fine as well um, but one thing I'll never say as an artist to anyone regardless of how they feel about my work I'll never say that they're wrong so if someone sees something completely different like this Obviously this piece of work is about anxiety. If they see nothing to do with anxiety and they see something completely different, I will, I'll never say, oh, well, you're wrong actually because it's supposed to be this. I'll never say that because no, I, I prefer it to be open and I embrace that. So yeah, I feel like I've just had like a little mini rant, but yeah, so there'll be limited information on the work when you come and see it, if you do come and see it. I'll put the dates across, so make sure to pop down if you're in the area to have a look around. And they are changing everything over, so there'll be a lot of other work going on and lots of other exhibitions and lots of other stuff to see. I'm not going to spoil it all for you, you'll have to come down and see it for yourself. But be aware that there is a bit of, well, there's quite a lot of building work going on at the minute, especially on the outside and on the grounds, I think the kind of landscaping and stuff but it hasn't kind of ruined it or anything and it is quite quiet in here. Um, but they've got a lovely cafe and gift shop and stuff and it's just a really, really unique space. That's what I was drawn to about it. Um, so yeah, just make sure to pop down if you're in the area or if you get the time or anything. I know people are busy and stuff like that, but if you do get a spare second, feel free to pop down. And it is free. There's no charge to gain access to the gallery. So pop down, have a look, have a look at what's going on. But hopefully you did enjoy this video. It's been a bit hectic and a bit crazy. I've had very limited kind of control because there's lots going on and stuff. Um, so I'm well out of my comfort zone, but it's been interesting. Hopefully you've enjoyed it too. If you have, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.